made your second week in a row, you know, the crew dug himself a hole and then had to fight back. And you I mean, got you an emphasis, but you're still coming up short. What is going to have to be done to get it turned around from, say, three weeks ago after you from Central Florida, and then all of a sudden you're having these, yeah. these periods now? You got to play better. I mean, obviously, right? But today, I mean, it was a different different set of circumstances in terms of some of the things that we did on special teams that put us in a 14-point hole. We got to play cleaner ball to start off with. We've been able to overcome it some this year, you know, and get wins. Uh, but as you get later in the season, people find out more about you. It's, it's more difficult, especially as your roster goes down too. So you can you can dig some holes early in the season when everybody's fresh and get out of them. But when you get late in the season and you got some people out, and you dig a hole. It's very difficult to come out of that. Major, is there anything you can put your finger on in terms of what's, you know, through the first eight weeks of the season, the team played pretty clean, kept the air clean, uh, turnovers to a minimum, all that good stuff. The last couple of weeks, and then obviously tonight, but uh, two fumbles, three sacks on King, stuff like that. And then obviously a lot of penalties that shot you in the foot, of, foot a few times. Anything you know that you can put your foot on in terms of the last couple of weeks that's just caused some of that maybe? Um, you know, every every game is different, you know, and it's hard to lump them in, you know, together in terms of when we've come back and when we've, you know, not been able to come back. Um, you know, today it was, I mean, I'm talking about today. Today it was the hole that we dug early with some special teams. We knew we were down defensively. I mean, you got all three of your defensive starters out. So we knew we were going to have some issues. We were going to have to bow up and back up guys. We we're going to have to play well. Um, when we did get some stops in the third quarter, uh, we didn't do anything with it offensively, you know, and that's, that's what you've got to be able to play off of. You know going into this game, you've got to play lights out on offense because of what you've got missing up front defensively and the type of back that you're playing. Uh, so when we had a few of those opportunities in the second half, we didn't make use of them. Anything else? What's the energy like around the team right now? You know, again, two weeks ago, you kind of have this big sort of emotional win. Last week, you don't. <laughs> Disappointed at our energy. Disappointed. We lost the football game. I mean, we spend a lot of time and, and dive into this as, as players and coaches, and uh, our energy is down, you know? I mean, you, you just lost a football game, but tomorrow we're getting ready for Tulane. And so that's what our message was in the locker room. We got five days to make sure that our seniors go out the right way. We have no idea which way this league's going to go, uh, but you can't sit there and, and, and be depressed about it. You got to fight back from it. Obviously, we're disappointed in the way we played and the way we coached, no doubt about it. But it's, it's still two games left. We got to worry about the one that's ahead of us. And like I said, you don't know what's going on with this league and how it's going to play itself out. So you better just prepare and be ready for the opportunity when it presents itself. You had a total of 172 snaps tonight. And now you mentioned in the past been not being able to get you know, young crews. You had 91 snaps, which is somewhere in the area that you like to have per game. But you know, like you say, the, the issues right now are just what do you? How do you keep from just killing your own self with the snaps that you're getting? Uh, I'm not sure the the number of snaps has to do with how we you know how we played. Um, you know we had a couple turnovers on offense, and like I said, we had some opportunities where our defense did get some key stops in the third quarter, and uh, and we didn't make use of them offensively. And we know going into this type of game, you got to make every single one of them count because of wh where we're at in terms of our depth up front and what they have in terms of their run game with their backs.